For astronauts, experiencing two different spacecraft in a single mission is a rare occurrence. However, for the Starliner astronauts who had been stranded in Earth's orbit for eight months after launching, returning home on a different spacecraft as Crew Dragon was inevitable, this made their mission one of the most impressive of their careers. The two astronauts had the unique opportunity to experience two completely different spacecraft. Do you wonder how they feel? Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. We are certainly no strangers to the situation involving the two Starliner astronauts who have been stranded on the ISS for over eight months, far exceeding their original 10-day mission plan. The root cause of this prolonged stay lies in the Starliner spacecraft's technical design flaws, which have left it unable to return to Earth with a crew on board. In this scenario, Crew Dragon emerged as the ultimate solution, stepping in to safely bring the two stranded astronauts home as part of SpaceX's Crew-9 mission. Although Boeing strongly opposed NASA's decision, in reality, it was the right call to prioritize the astronauts' safety. Starliner astronauts Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore also appeared to support this decision. They expressed their heartfelt gratitude to Elon Musk and former President Donald Trump the moment Crew-10 arrived at the ISS signifying that, at long last, they were finally on their way home to reunite with their families. We're coming back before long, so, you know, don't do, make all those plans without me. <laughs> you know, we'll be back before too long. I can tell you at the outset, we have, all of us have the utmost respect for Mr. Musk, and obviously respect and admiration for our President of the United States, uh, Donald Trump. We appreciate them, we appreciate all that they do for us, for human spaceflight, for our nation. Um, and, and we're thankful that they are in the positions they're in. An even greater experience for the two astronauts was getting to ride aboard Crew Dragon on their journey home. This was a completely different experience from what they had previously encountered on Starliner. Space is a brutal, relentless frontier, and the key to keeping the crew at ease, almost as if they're still basking in Earth's atmosphere, lies in the environmental control and life support system. The life support setup on Crew Dragon is built to maintain a livable cabin environment, accommodating up to four astronauts for a stretch of up to five days. This remarkable system aboard Crew Dragon is meticulously crafted to sustain a breathable, livable environment within the cabin, capable of supporting up to four astronauts for missions lasting as long as five days. It works tirelessly behind the scenes, replenishing oxygen as the crew breathes it in, maintaining a steady cabin pressure that mirrors conditions at sea level, 101.3 kilopascals, and keeping humidity within an ideal window of 25% to 75%, not too dry, not too muggy. Beyond that, it scrubs the air clean of carbon dioxide exhaled by the astronauts, disperses the heat generated by both human bodies and the whirring electronics, and locks the temperature into a cozy range between 18.3 degrees Celsius and 26.7 degrees Celsius. It doesn't stop there. This sophisticated network also channels air into the crew's sleek SpaceX suits, fine-tunes cabin pressure, and keeps environmental factors like temperature and humidity in perfect harmony. Should a spark flare up, it's ready with fire suppression capabilities, and it continuously filters out carbon dioxide to keep the air fresh and breathable. At the heart of it all is advanced software, humming along quietly, automatically adjusting every parameter to ensure the crew remains safe, comfortable, and focused, no matter what challenges arise during their journey through the cosmos. Here's a fascinating nugget to chew on. This high-tech life support system didn't spring up out of nowhere. It actually evolved from an earlier version designed to keep small critters, like mice, alive and well aboard the cargo-carrying Dragon spacecraft. It's a quirky little origin story that sparks a bigger thought. Isn't that how so much of our technology comes to be? From medical devices to cutting-edge machinery, countless innovations get their first test run with tiny animals like mice, proving their worth before they're entrusted with human lives. It's a humbling reminder of how even the most futuristic advancements often start small. Stepping into the Crew Dragon's cockpit, though, is where things get really interesting. This isn't just a step up from Boeing's Starliner. It's a leap beyond anything any spacecraft has offered before thanks to one standout feature, a sleek, futuristic touchscreen control panel. The command system marries these responsive touchscreens with a backup of manual controls, all built with a level of fault tolerance that's as impressive as it is reassuring. The screens are precision-tuned to respond flawlessly, whether the crew is barehanded or wearing SpaceX's custom-designed astronaut gloves, ensuring no fumbling or frustration in the heat of the moment. Each display is a powerhouse, capable of presenting up to 10 distinct data streams simultaneously. Everything from navigation readouts to system diagnostics, 
allowing the astronauts to zoom in on whichever part of the spacecraft's operations they need to monitor most closely. The interface kicks off with a master overview page, a kind of mission control hub right at their fingertips, with the option to dive deeper into a sprawling network of detailed subpages, somewhere between 25 and 30 in all. These screens aren't static. They're alive with real-time data, feeding the crew constant updates on the Dragon's position as it hurtles through space, its potential docking targets, the onboard environment, and a host of other critical system stats. This isn't some untested gimmick either. It's been battle-hardened through hundreds of hours of rigorous training and collaborative simulations, proving its reliability in every conceivable scenario, from smooth sailing to high-stakes anomalies, across the spacecraft's full operational spectrum. And while Crew Dragon boasts the smarts to autonomously dock with or depart from the International Space Station with pinpoint precision, the crew isn't just along for the ride. If push comes to shove, they can take the helm, switching to manual control to guide the ship themselves a testament to the system's flexibility and the trust placed in its human operators. Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, the first astronauts to fly on Crew Dragon, shared their experiences training with the control system for the first time. Of course, you know, growing up as a pilot my whole career, having a certain way to control the vehicle, this is certainly different. But we went into it with a very open mind, I think, and worked with them to define the way you interface with it the way your touch is actually registered on the display, in order to be able to fly it cleanly and not make mistakes touching it, not potentially putting in a wrong input. Besides, the Crew Dragon is outfitted with four meticulously crafted seats, constructed from high-grade carbon fiber and upholstered in luxurious Alcantara fabric. These seats are thoughtfully positioned to provide seamless access to the control panel, blending ergonomic design with practicality. Beneath them lies a cleverly integrated storage space capable of holding up to 230 kilograms of cargo, maximizing efficiency without compromising comfort. Each seat is equipped with a dedicated life support line that connects to a port on the thigh of the occupant's EVA suit, delivering a steady stream of cool nitrogen and oxygen to maintain optimal conditions throughout the mission. The astronaut suits themselves are custom tailored for every Crew Dragon passenger striking a balance between functionality, lightweight construction, and robust protection against potential cabin depressurization. A single, streamlined connection point on the thigh links the suit to the spacecraft's life support systems, channeling air and power directly to the wearer with precision and reliability. This advanced integration is precisely why Suni and Butch had to swap out their older suits worn during their ascent aboard the Starliner for the sleek, newly designed SpaceX suits upon transitioning to Crew Dragon. When it comes to the exterior of the Crew Dragon spacecraft, the story is just as captivating as what lies within. This marvel of engineering is split into two distinct sections. A reusable capsule that forms the heart of the vessel and a disposable trunk that serves as its unsung hero. Together they create a silhouette that's both functional and striking, designed to tackle the brutal challenges of space travel while maintaining an air of sleek sophistication. The trunk, often overlooked, is a powerhouse in its own right. Tucked beneath the capsule, it stretches the spacecraft's total length by an additional 12 feet, bringing vital systems along for the ride. Solar panels unfurl from its sides, soaking up the sun's energy to keep the ship humming while a heat dissipation radiator works quietly to shed excess warmth generated during the mission. Stability fins, subtly integrated into its design, stand ready to steady the craft during high-stakes emergency aborts, ensuring the crew has a fighting chance if things go awry. Beyond its technical duties, the trunk doubles as a cavernous storage bay for unpressurized cargo. Think scientific experiments or supplies that don't need the cozy confines of the cabin. Above the trunk sits the capsule itself, a compact yet commanding presence at 16 feet tall and 13 feet wide. This is the Crew Dragon's beating heart, where the crew resides, and where the real magic of survival happens. Its exterior is a fortress against the elements, wrapped in a thermal protection system that's as ingenious as it is essential. At the base lies the crown jewel of this defense, an ablative heat shield engineered to take the brunt of re-entry's fiery wrath. As the spacecraft plunges back into Earth's atmosphere, this shield doesn't just endure, it sacrifices itself, burning away layer by layer to whisk heat away from the capsule. The result? A surface that emerges charred and blackened, like a perfectly toasted marshmallow fresh from the campfire. Along the capsule's sides, additional protective layers bolster this defense, standing guard against the searing plasma that envelops the ship during its descent, 
sculpting its exterior into a rugged, battle-worn masterpiece. That toasted aesthetic, though, is just the aftermath. In its pre-flight glory, Crew Dragon is a vision of modern elegance. Painted in SpaceX's signature crisp white, its smooth, minimalist shell is punctuated only by a few small, strategically placed windows and the subtle outlines of thruster ports. Up top, a mechanical hatch crowns the nose cone, a versatile feature that adapts to the mission at hand, swinging open to reveal either a docking port for linking up with the International Space Station or a cupola window offering the crew a breathtaking view of the cosmos. On the side, a sturdy door provides earthly access, letting astronauts step aboard or disembark while the capsule rests on solid ground. Propulsion is where Crew Dragon flexes its muscle, and it does so with two distinct sets of thrusters, each with its own personality. The Draco thrusters, 16 in all, are the nimble workhorses, clustered around the capsule like a constellation of tiny rocket engines. Their angled nozzles are precision tools, firing off bursts of hypergolic propellant, a self-igniting mix of fuel and oxidizer to nudge the spacecraft into just the right position or tweak its altitude. These small but mighty engines give the crew pinpoint control, ensuring Dragon dances through space with grace and accuracy. Then there are the Super Dracos, the heavy hitters of the bunch. Tucked discreetly within four prominent ridges that encircle the capsule, two engines per ridge, these powerhouses are a different breed entirely. Each Super Draco churns out roughly 200 times the thrust of its Draco counterparts, delivering raw, unbridled force when it's needed most. They're the backbone of Crew Dragon's launch escape system, ready to rocket the capsule away from danger in a split second if a mission goes off the rails. But they're not just brute strength. Super Dracos are finely tunable, with throttling capabilities that let them dial back or ramp up as the situation demands. Whether it's a dramatic abort or a controlled maneuver, these engines are the muscle behind the mission. So, while the interior of Crew Dragon cocoons its crew in comfort and cutting-edge tech, the exterior tells a story of resilience and adaptability. From its heat-scarred shield to its solar-powered trunk, from its nimble Dracos to its roaring Super Dracos, this spacecraft is built to conquer the void and look good doing it. By the time it splashes down, that toasted marshmallow finish isn't just a quirk. It's a badge of honor, proof of a journey through fire and back again. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.